We're in a moment where we're witnessing an incredible escalation of white supremacist forces taking action, taking the streets, and we're having to confront that reality. What we're also noticing is that there's a particularly intensified crisis that we're facing that's ecological, political, and economic. In response to these conditions, resistance movements are continuing to build really powerful strategies to defend our communities. And gender somatics right now is well positioned and very committed to making a meaningful contribution. What somatics brings is a transformative methodology that helps us develop embodied leadership so our vision, our values, and our actions are lined up. And it also helps to heal and transform the impacts of trauma and oppression. The GS strategy team convened from April 2015 through December 2016 to guide GS toward our most powerful contribution in the years ahead. Here's what we came up with through the planning process. GS is going to continue to prioritize working with leaders and formations that are organizing folks that are most impacted by the systems of white supremacy and capitalism, so base building organizations. We're going to both work with formations, so organizations, alliances, that are making demands of the state and those that are advancing scalable community alternatives. GS will prioritize our efforts in two specific areas. The first one is freedom from political repression and state violence, and the other one is environmental and climate justice. When I think about the role of somatics in divesting from the state, I think about the abolitionist politic that SNAPCO holds, which is essentially that we have a vision for a world without police. We have a vision where trans and queer people of color are able to thrive in their full body autonomy, where people can be their fullest selves. And we know that, especially in Atlanta, that there are so many moments for survival that our folks are not able to be in their full bodies, that disembodiment is actually the only option for survival. I think somatics is really important in general when fighting for liberation, for fighting for self-determination against state violence, because even though as organizers we're able to articulate the ways in which trauma is passed down from the state, the ways in which our environment is toxic, we're still very much susceptible to that toxicity and to that trauma. Somatics has really helped me in being able to ground myself in understanding my own traumas and understanding the conditions around me coming from a place of patience and love. Our environment is our home. Our planet is our home. With so many things attacking our communities, our homes, our homelands from all different angles, by multinational corporations. It's now more than ever, we need a way of being that allows our whole bodies to be in this movement for the long haul. The ways that our communities are being attacked through displacement, through homelessness, through healthcare reforms, the way that lead poisoning is coming into our water streams, refinery air pollution is clogging our lungs in communities like Richmond it is affecting our bodies and our brains and our hearts and our ability to continue living full lives, full beings. Somatics has been a way to bring not only more awareness to all of these things, but to bring more choice into each of our bodies and each of our collective beings to choose how we need to fight, how we need to heal, and how we can start transforming this world that we're living in into something more powerful and something more life-giving. We want to focus our attention and efforts on formations in these two focus areas so that they can continue to build power and move toward freedom and life-affirming vision. What we're committed to is to focus all our programs to engage leaders and formations who work in our strategic priority areas. Organize GS practitioners to serve organizers and activists who work in our strategic priority areas and increase accessibility for poor and working class people of color. 
will continue to dismantle white supremacy and practice racial justice in all of our programmatic and organizational practices. We'll expand non-staff leadership bodies to continue to democratize our organization. Grow our programs and organization through teacher development and transformative fundraising so that we can continue to meet the growing call for our work. Thank you for all of the ways that you help make our work possible. We can only do it with you. If you have any questions or any ideas about our strategic priorities, we welcome them, so please contact us. And make a donation today. Join us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.